everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where today we have got so much. We've got a new Apex coming to cover. We've got a new update and buffs and nerfs to certain dinosaurs coming. We've also got something to show you as well. So before we get into it, before we go, you know, too, too deep into it. So I was making sure that I hadn't turned on the above light because that casts weird shadows. Uh, so as you see right here, we have the incubators. And you know, we used to stuff like this. I said, yeah, you know, whatever. But would you believe? Hey, look at that! Another Rexy! Oh, that's so generous. It says plus 50%. I don't know what it means by plus 50%. Like, we, you normally get 200 out of these incubators. So, no idea what that means. So, that, that's happening. Uh, so, that's brilliant. Th thanks, Lydia. I, I, I always want to spend money. So, we open a Rexy incubator. Hey, is that brilliant? 1,000 or 15,000. And, of course, 200. Oh, wait, no. I would have been if it was 1,200. Never mind. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so, of course, we had that. We can get that out of the way. And before we get into the rest of the, you know, meat and bones of this video, let's have a quick look at what's coming up in this week. So Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, you know, I don't know when this is uploading. It could be Thursday, could be Friday. I don't know. There's a lot of videos coming out soon. Uh, we've got Allosaurus, Draco Rex, Irritator, Thordor. We're not even going to talk about those, whatever's. Uh, Friday, Saturday is where you get your epics. This is where you get Aquacanthosaurus, Giga, and also T-Rex. Yeah, one of those Giga, of course, has the Gigankinix, or whatever you call it. Um, Agricanthosaurus does have some good hybrids. On the Friday, you've also got a Baronex Legendary Incubator to get. Uh, but the Sunday, uh, normally we've had, like, a Legendary and a Unique to Dart for the past few weeks, it feels. But this time, we only get Legendaries. And, ooh, ooh, it's gonna be a hard one for you to choose, because you've got the Thordor, uh, pre- Alice Sinoceratops, I think it's called which you need for Thordor, so you could get that. You could get Indominus Rex. That's an option. Or Rexy. It's up to you. I mean, I would definitely not choose Rexy, as it's not a complete pay-to-win dinosaur. Yes, choose Rexy. Out of all of those, choose Rexy. I think Rexy and Indominus are probably the hardest ones to dart. Um, I'm not, I have been ages since I've darted Indominus Rex, but that I always remember being really difficult. But yeah, just dart Rexy, man. Just dart Rexy. I, we're going to get into uh, new hybrids coming soon. Uh, Apex hybrids, that is. But also, we got a new season pass to cover. My god, we've got so much in this episode. It's going to be awesome. Um, uh, or is it? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> but yes, Rexy. Dart that on the Sunday. Also, there's an incubator, legendary one to get, an epic, whatever you want to call it. Epic incubator, that's a legendary's red. Uh, and a coin chase for only one day. So get your coins while you can. And then Monday to Tuesday isn't too bad. You've got Spinosaurus. Meh. You've got uh, Marsupial Lion, which is actually, you know, all right. This is a good hybrid for it. Um, also, uh, Albertus. Albertosaurus. Albertosaurus, of course, you need for um, that really swapping killer hybrid unique one. Anyway, that is this week's things over and done with. So before we jump into anything else, we'll go back into the game. And we'll have a look at this because we have a new... Like, what'd you call it? Uh, pass. And of course, there was the, there was like, there's three options for this. You can either do the free one, you can do the, the paid one, which I think is 89.9, or you can do the p -p 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 paid one, which is like, how much? Like 31 quid, 32 quid, something ridiculous. So of course we did that one, because that's what we are here on the channel now. We've joined the dark side. Welcome. <laughs> uh, but I was also a bit clever with the way I've done this, because if we go into missions, we can collect all of these. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, Giga has left us now. We no longer have a gig. So we were on rank 11 just by buying it. You unlocked certain things right away. Um, and because I had a feeling that this was going to happen, I saved a lot of my uh, VIP uh, points. So this being the weekly one, which is this. So I saved that. Uh, so this can all get added towards this. Because I was thinking, hold on a minute. We I got a week and a month. Thing, which is going to clock over to the same time that the event is going to be. So I was like, ah, why don't I just save them just in case? And would you believe? Uh, yeah, they came in handy. So we got 55, which is going to take us to, I think... Oh my god, it really... Oh, we're on 13? So we'll collect, of course, the Lystrosaurus, I think it is. Oh! Lystrosaurus! Look at that! I know what I'm talking about, kind of. Not really. 
that. But we've also got the monthly ones. You've got to complete seven weekly missions. But we're going to get close to that one. We do have the 200 one. So there you go. 200 and odd. So we were on 11 and now we're on 16. Unfortunately, you don't get any cool like bing, 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 pass straight away. But you, 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 get, you get the picture. It, it, it's basically there. So let's have a look at our rewards. Uh, starting from the, uh, the top, uh, you've got... Free-wise, you've got a Baryonyx, which I guess isn't so bad. It's a Baryonyx. Hey, why not? Uh, but then the other one is like the actual legendary hybrid. Now, I've got a lot of this, so I don't really need to worry about this. This uh, Giga Pass is not as good as the previous one, I don't think. Because I gave you Rexy, and Rexy's, you know, used a lot. However, depends how you want to see it. Because, I mean, the other one gave you Rexy. It gave you uh, Mortem Rex as well, so an Apex. This one... For, for the only other time uh, in this game is giving you boost resets. Because huh? they were a thing which completely vanished. Don't they, Lou? Do you remember that? Remember? They don't. <laughs> so we got Giga DNA, which of course we need for Giganconix. Uh, you got the 50. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, Postasukas. I'm assuming that's for. Oh, God. Anna Demetridor. What are these for? They must be ingredients for the same hybrid. Uh, you got a 50, so you get that a little bit later with the free one. But if you're, of course, paid, you get this one, which is really freaking good. Uh, also, some dinosaurs are going to get buff. Once we've done this, we'll go in and explain what's getting buff and what, is, what isn't. Uh, you've also got a, a exclusive uh, Winky Eye Licking Nips Giga, which is... Um, Provocative, uh, to say the least. Uh, we've also got a well, it's another 150 giga. Ho oh, ho, yes. Uh, some Dimetrodon, the poster Suchus hybrid. Okay. Also, basically 200 giga DNA because it's a giga cent, and you're probably going to get dart about 200. Uh, we've got the poster Suchus hybrid again. You've got the Tyranno Tristornix. You've got another Giga. Now, the reason I'm collecting this is because I have known and I've used them all. Um, so that's another 200 Giga. There's another 100 Giga. Uh, oh my god, wow. And that's where we're up to. We're up to 11. And now we're up to 16. So another 500. Another 50 Giga. See, that's how they do it. They make it look like sometimes it's better to do the free one. But overall, it's not. It's never better to do the free one. <laughs> 100 Baryonyx. Okay, okay, 166 of that. We got, ooh, a name! Fearless Foe. Oh, yay. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and that, is that as far as we got? Surely not. Why did it just zoom me up? Oh, I must have clicked it. Okay, so then a 50 Tristornix, which you don't need to worry about. Uh, another 50 of the Giga hybrid. Very close to a level 28. Uh, what we could do as well, we could, you know, like, just boost through this and get them all... Uh, right away, but honestly, there's no point in doing that. I mean, yeah, I suppose you get everything instantly, but then that's 500 odd books a pop, and even that, it might be more. Um, that could be saved for, you know, actually getting boosts, so I'd rather do that. A cool Giga Emblem? That's not so bad. Uh, another Giga, yes! And try Stornix. Brilliant. There's the next one. Oh, no, I don't want to go back to that. I don't want the rare one, man. And then, if we want, we can spend 400 bucks and get 100 of the Giganix uh, hybrid. So, looking further down, uh, prices is kind of normal, what we've seen before. That one is a different emote. Okay, 150 of that. And then, here we go. Like, where have these been? And why is one of them locked behind a paywall? Why? Why are you doing this? Look, these were supposed to be, like, I thought it was going to be every tournament, Alliance tournament, we were going to just get given them. You know, one per... Uh, or like one of each type per incubator or something, you know, whatever you got the higher incubator got, obviously the more you got. But no, we're not doing that. Don't know why we're doing that, we'll put one behind a paywall. Thank you, okay, brilliant. And weird thing is, you've, if, even if you pay for this, you get the, the health reset and the speed reset. Where's the attack reset? Uh, am I missing something? Is this the only way you can get them? <laughs> okay, uh, so 200 of that. And then finally, if you do get the free one, you get the besieger. Uh, sort of skin for the Tristornix, but you get the Citadel skin for the Giga hybrid. However, both of them are pretty meh. Like, if the roles were reversed and the regular skin was the actual skin that you had to pay to get, I'd probably want the pay to get skin, or, you know, the free one that we get, because those ones aren't that good. Sorry if I've confused you. That I, I did that amazingly well, didn't I? <laughs> 
So, let's have a look. Let's go back into here and let's see if we can fuse this. Ooh, I got 15 doo 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 DNA. Also, of course, we unlocked the Dreadactylus hybrid, I think it was, with the most recent Alliance tournament. There's been a whole reset in the game, so, um,. I don't know, maybe we'll do some battles and maybe we'll get lucky and we'll quickly rank up to Nublar Shores. I don't think we'll be able to do that, but you know, the thoughts there. Maybe, if we're lucky. So, we got 250, so we could even level it up again if we wanted to, but I don't even know what I'd use that for. Right, and here we are in the Dino Changes. So, according to Nudian, we're adjusting this legendary herbivore's kit to increase its usefulness against those pesky flocks, as well as increase its power in raids and PvP. Doesn't say what legendary herbivore, okay. Our analytics showed that this unique hit and run was underperforming in the meta. Therefore, we're giving Utaranex a solid buff. That's what I use, okay. While maintaining their hit and run niche. Wow, okay, so out of all of the hybrids, that, you know, we've seen in the game. Uh, Utaranex has been there from the start and slowly, it's it seemed like every update, it's got more and more um, like uh, buffs. It got like a little bit ar more armor, it got a little bit more crit, it got a little bit more attack. And now it looks like, what, wait, what our next show is underperforming, therefore we're giving Utaranex a solid buff while maintaining their hit and run niche. Doesn't say what they're doing to it, but it's there, okay. Uh, Tricosaur, of course, the T-Rex hybrid, is one of the first uniques to enter Jurassic World alive and it needs a few more tweaks to keep up with new power players. Its new devour ability will help. Interesting, doesn't say what the devour is, but okay. Uh, Dilorachia, Dilocheres, oh my God, these are all like, this is what I wanted to see. I was hoping that we would see a, a, a change to Ludia because for the longest time, They've just been, it's been this process of add a new hybrid, make it the best, may, wait for everyone to ha like max it out and put buffs on it, nerf it, repeat process. <laughs> but now they're actually taking the originals, like Utaranex, Trichosaurus, Dilocharis, or Dilocharis, whatever you want to call it, and now they're giving them buffs. So Dilocharis is another of our early uniques that could use a spruce, you're telling me. Uh, including a bit more identity to suit this powerful healer. The new changes should make the Lucheris as good a good raid option. Uh, why not try using them instead of Turamolok? Interesting. See, Turamolok could speed boost and then heal heal. So, we'll be interested to see where that goes. And Tenotorex as well is receiving a slight change in their abilities to bring more variety to the ways players can deploy them. We've added Devour to their distracting impact to keep your opponents guessing. Interesting. And the only change to a, a new dinosaur, the Giganix, which, or Gigalinx, I don't know what you call it, that one, um, have, was set loose in Jurassic World in the latest update, the analytics on this creature in. And its performance is not quite at the level intended. Yeah, telling me. That swap and heal the opponent is stupid. <laughs> We're modifying a few of its abilities and stats to allow this predator the power everyone expects. So, again, we don't know what it's going to get, but it's going to get a buff. So, here is Giganix. Um, we can now fuse it quite a bit. I think we can do, yeah, five fuses because we got a thousand DNA. Well, you know what? A hundred... 100 for 5, which means that each one was 20. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. But, you know, we get it to level 28. It seems like it's gonna get a buff. Apparently, the buff has already been put in. But I don't really know what that buff is exactly. But, you know, it's in the game. Maybe we'll see it. We'll do one more pop because we can. And I think this accompanied with the, you know, the pass will allow me to probably get it to level 28. What? Also, I have been told by people in my Alliance server that the way I've done Rexy is good, but it could be better. Basically, I've added just a little bit too many speed boosts and the rest should go in health. So if we have a look at this, we can probably, oh, we can refund, there we go. I mean, get one down, one tier, yes. So I'll get to about like 26, so we'll take two off. Because I can, because I got loads, I suppose. I don't have attack that much. That's the difference. So we'll put two more health boosts on just to get it over and out of the, the dangerous threat range that like a referantum can kill it in one hit or a full rex can kill it in one hit. That way, you know, we've still got the, the speed if we use our priority. 
It's gonna do a lot of damage. We also got a lot of speed. And now we're now we're safe. I think this is gonna really help Rexy perform. And thank you, Tiger Players, for doing that. <laughs> for letting me know how stupid I was. So, with all this being said, there has been a poll recently where Ludia has left it up to you guys, the fans, to choose a new Apex you know, dinosaur. Apex, of course, are one of the best dinosaurs in the game. So it's going to be really good. And we're going to go over the, the roster selections and also the winner. So we'll start with the first one. The, I mean, these were all set up for votes and it was up to you guys to choose which one you really wanted. Um, we, I'll let you guess if you don't know which one was picked. So we'll just go over the, uh, the candidates. So first was Comps Scorpius. Which was the, um, the, like, Compi Hybrid and also Scorpius Rex Gen 3 Hybrid. Uh, if you play this game for as long as I have, you've probably got Scorpius Rex Gen 3 maxed up. Um, so having another, I mean, it's different. It's another flock creature. Um, and to have it an Apex, the first ever flock Apex, might not have been too bad. Um, in hybrid ingredients is Compsicalis and Scorpius Rex Gen 3, that's it. Um, and the next one is the Geminidus or Geminidius. Um, now this one, actually, I would have been pretty happy with because its ingredients are Gemini Titan, and we haven't seen Gemini Titan in a long time, a really long time. Uh, every now and again you might bump into it, but it's it's usurped by way better hybrids, if we're going to be honest. Um, but Stegodus was one of the best creatures when this game initially launched. I remember using it, and that's why I think I've got level 22 even. Um, so for it to finally get a hybrid would it, it would be really freaking good. Um, I don't know what the stats or everything else would have been like for this, but at least, you know, a sauropod apex would have been good. Uh, the next one is the Indominemis, or Indonemis, I should say. Uh, this, of course, is no surprise. It's Indominus Rex uh, ingredient as well as Smilonemis. Um, I mean... It's kind of, it's, the concept art looks, all these concept arts look brilliant. The fact that Ludia puts in, you know, money to just show us a concept art about these creatures is really cool. Now, we know from Indotaurus that it was stood up right, right? However, when we got Indotaurus, it was on all fours. So I don't know if there's no communication with the concept artist and the actual riggers and stuff like that, but whatever. Um... Whereas, hopefully, I mean, this one is probably going to look like that, because it'll just take the Indominus Rex uh, rig. There's no Indoraptor. I don't think it's going to be on all fours like a Smile and Emis. Uh, the next one is the Keratolania. Keratolania, that one, yes. Uh, this is Mammalania, which, you know, has kind of been used a lot, and uh, I see it every now and again. And Keratoprocus, or Porcus, whatever you call it. Uh, I have never seen that really used outside of uh, skill tournaments. But, you know, I'm not... If, if this was a hybrid, again, pretty cool. Another different kind of Apex. And the final one, uh, this is a wild card hybrid and would have been quite interesting to have seen uh, uh, people get this. This is the Monolocervia. Monocervia. Uh, this is Monolometrodon, ingredient, and the Albertocervia. Now, Albertocervia, whatever you want to call it, is used a lot. It's maxed attacked. It's it's maxed out, of course. And you swap it in, you do some damage, and then you've got priority, which instantly boosts your attack by 50%, a bit like Rexy has, as well as it having a really good counter. Uh, so as soon as it gets hit, you know, it does some damage and vulnerability damage, I think it is as well. And, you know, if you've got your attack up, you're already doing a 50% extra on whatever you've been dealt. Um, so this one would have been one of my least favorite ones to have got a hybrid because... It would have been just so hard to unlock, basically. Like, Albertosaurus is one of those dinosaurs that I don't even think it's in the wild. It's only from events and sanctuaries you can get it from. Um, but the winner, would you believe? Have a guess. What do you think it's going to be? It is Indominus. Another Indominus Rex hybrid. I, I think I would have preferred... This is probably my second most wanted one. My first most unwanted one was, of course, the Alberta hybrid. But this one? Really? Another Indominus Rex hybrid? Oh my god. So, let's just have a look at this. You have Ur uh, the Urlicosaurus, whatever you want to call it. That one. The Ur Ur Dominus, whatever it is. The Therizinosaurus Indominus. You've got the Indotaurus. You and now you're going to have Indonemis. <laughs> now, there's been a few people in the community that have said it's been a bit rigged uh, because other people have uh, told everyone to vote for it. However, 
I think there probably is a part of that, 100%. I think it's up to anyone who's got a fan base like myself to, you know, if you want something, you have, you know, and it could be for the game, it could be for the benefit of the game, why not? Just say, hey, I like this, if you want to vote for it, go for it. Um, but it's Indominus Rex, man. Like, if, if that's going to get a hybrid, people are going to... Like, there's a lot of kids that will play it, a lot of kids that want to see it, even, like, in 3D form, even if they don't really play the game, they'll vote for it. Like, you know, it, it's Indominus Rex since Jurassic World. It's still super popular. Uh, so it's not much of a surprise that Indominus Rex got the vote. Um, but the concerning thing is that, yes, it's another Indominus Rex hybrid. So I think Indominus Rex has got like a three, three freaking hybrids. Tester Corvinus, which is something I've maxed up to level 30. Also, this thing goes into an apex. So if I want the bear, I've got to get more Testacorbinus uh, DNA. And that means that I'm going to have to get more of Testacorbinus's ingredients. And what are Testacorbinus' ingredients? Carbotoceratops. And what are Carbotoceratops ingredients? Carbonemies. And what does Carbonemies go into? Smilonemies. So in order to get this Indonemies, you need even more Carbonemies DNA. So Carbonemies has now just become the giant prehistoric turtle has become one of the most sought after dinosaurs or cre well, not even dinosaur, uh, prehistoric reptiles in the entire game because it goes into two apexes. I don't know why Lydia didn't think this through and be like, wait, hold on a minute. You're gonna need a lot of DNA to get. And we have one of the ingredients that is used for both of them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's uh, like, so hopefully we'll get some event to get even more. The thing is, um, with Smiling Emmys, it has been in uh, raids for a long time. And I have never done them because I've never really wanted to use Smiling Emmys. So that that's on me for not doing it, for not getting that DNA when I probably should have. But at the same time, I think the raid was a pain in the arse. <laughs> uh, so, Smile and Emmys is going to get a hybrid. And now, pretty much all of the Carbon Emmys you want, you, know, you should have, is probably going to go into this thing now to prepare for this. We'll have a look at Indominus Rex just to see how much DNA I've got in that. So, here it is, Indominus Rex. And you need Velociraptor and T-Rex. I've actually got a level 30 T-Rex anyway. <laughs> um, so if I'd known that, I might not have maxed that thing up, but I maxed that up a long time ago because I was like, it's Rexy, I want it max level. Um, and Indominus Rex, I mean, the ingredients aren't too hard. It's Velociraptor and T-Rex. I'm not too fussed about that. Um, but it also has Erlodominus, Indoraptor, and now it's gonna get a freaking Apex. I get it, it's the flagship of Jurassic World, but really, I would have so much preferred to get the Geminidus, that, like, Ankylosaur, you know, um, sorry, Stegosaur, Apatosaur, Apex would have been so cool to see, or even, you know, something different, you know, like the, the Flock, the Comsognathus Apex. Or even the Mammalania Apex, not not the Alberta, we don't want that. But it would have been nice to have seen something different, right? Or am I wrong? Correct! <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to see what swaps out and who gets that instant. I assume because it's Smile and Emmys, that's had a raid for ages. Carbon Emmys has been out for a while. And then Dominus Rex being one of the ingredients. As soon as this new Apex comes out, you're going to have people instantly, instantly max at the level 30 and boost it. You'll see it in the tournament. 100% you'll see it in the tournament instantly. Uh, so that was kind of nothing. <laughs> so why don't we stop the best part of these videos and do some battles? Also, it might be sacrilegious, but I've started playing Pokemon Go after how many years? And I'm actually really enjoying it. <laughs> it's really good. Like, I'm, I'm noticing the differences now between Jurassic World Alive and Pokemon Go. I think I'll start with Ankylosaurus, because it's Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus, we might as well. And it's against a Trico, so it's really good. Woo! <laughs> yes, he is faster, however. And he, for some odd reason, goes for that one. I mean, how much damage would you... You would have done more damage going for your other attack, you fool. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, uh, like, I, I find it... Like, Pokemon Go is way better if you're the sort of person that likes to go out and likes to go search for things. Whereas Jurassic World Alive, I've realized, is just way, way, way more focused on something like um, battles like this. It is way more in-depth, is way more in-detailed, 
But at the same time, it got me thinking. Like, the battle's in, um, you know, we'll go for this one because he's probably going to just go for his biggest hit and finish me. So predicting that will just nullify his attack. Um, and, and whereas Pokemon Go, you know, is it has the battles. And, yeah, the bridge is right, good. Uh, it does have the battles, but also at the same time, it's, it's battles aren't too complicated. And it got me thinking, like, is Jurassic World alive over complicated? Like, yeah, you've got all these dinosaurs with armor, oh, critical hits, debuffs, friggin', uh, you know, uh, uh, speed, attack, defense. Like, there's so much, and it's so good. I, I, I don't know. I think they both do their, their, their roles well, but I just wish that Jurassic World Alive developed more of its going out you know, and exploring the world, because that's what I love doing. And only once in, you know, my entire time of playing this game have I ever ha been with a group of people playing Jurassic World Alive. It's never happened. Whereas with Pokemon Go, I've done that like, you know, well, when it first started, I've done that. But I, I could very easily, if I wanted to, join a Discord and have a group of people and go around. Um, Whereas, you know, I know the, the player base is a lot smaller. It may as well just nullify it a little bit more because it's probably going to go for its, like, big hit, isn't it? I think it's going to go for its big hit. So we'll just make sure we nullify as much damage as we can before we go for a really big hit. Now, um, now if we wanted to, I guess I could swap in Ankylosaur Lux or something else because he's probably going to go... Oh, no, he's not going for that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> A model rhino and a trico. Is this guy preparing for the update? I he might be. <laughs> oh, a paratops. Interesting, interesting. Um, so, 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 so. What do we do here, do you think? Uh, you know, I'll go for this. Expecting him to probably go for his heel. It may even get a stun. I don't even... Is stun a thing? I don't know. I don't think stun's a thing. I keep forgetting. I mean, I'm assuming when this update comes out, we'll get new icons fixed for that. Uh, he'll probably just go for a heal here. If he does, that's fine. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, cool. Um, right. You Killing ref. Perfectly fine. Ooh, what do we go for? He's got, I mean, he's got his priority uh, heal, right? Um, but I could kill him with Rexy. And if he swaps out... He'll, he, I don't think he'll die. I don't think that's going to happen to him. Uh, no. If I was him, I'd probably just swap out. Just because, is it max attack? It's not max attack, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah. If I, like, if I was him, I, I would have done that. I'm probably, I might get the hit 50% chance, basically. Didn't get the crit. I probably could have killed him if I did get the crit. But I'll bear that in mind. It's something to look out for. Uh, that power tops. Ooh, okay. Is it, is it faster than me? 125. Oh, it's one slower, and it will still be slower after the next turn. Ooh. Okay, so in this case, taking the speed off my T-Rex and putting more health on has worked out for this battle. Um, so, oh, there's the crit. Oh, it doesn't go through, unfortunately. Right, so we are quicker, I think, because we both increased our speed by 50%. No? No? Okay, never mind. Maybe it would have worked if I'd kept my speed on, but hey-ho. Um, I mean, he'll go for the Toxic Quills. He could stun me here. Uh, it's very, I was going to say, it's very unlikely he does actually get the stun. We could go through his thing here, and we don't, but... All's fair in love and war, I suppose. Uh, we'll, what we'll do, though, is we will uh, switch to um, this, Ankylosaur Lux, because he'll go for his biggest hit, and then we'll just kill him in a passive. And I want to try and just coax out his power tops to kill me. That's what I want to happen. Oh, wait, what? Instant ambush? That is not what I was expecting. Really? He could have died. What's he doing? Okay. Um. Well, I guess he's going to go for a really big hit. He's just going to go for the regular and go through my shield, I'd assume. He's swapping? What are you... What is going? What's this person doing? <laughs> he's swapping to Paratops to do loads of damage to me, but... What's the point when your Paratops is going to die? And it's so good. No. No. What you do? Oh, we got a crit, though. Got a crit, though. <laughs> okay. Um, what, what's... I, um, I mean, it depends what he's got here, really. Um, I, you know what? I'll just go for this and just... Uh, fingers crossed we don't have a Forex and we don't have a referendum. Right, I know it's asking a lot. It's asking a lot, right? 
I would have thought you would have swapped them in before, though, if you had them. Wait, what? What? What else does he have? You've got it. You've got to have something, surely. Okay, he's lost. Well, uh, that was GG. Well, well, well played. Uh, yes, you're definitely dead. You're definitely dead. Uh, yeah, he still gets the dodges every time, though. Yo, well, there you go. Rex, he actually won him. May have won it quicker, possibly, if I had the speed increase. But you know what? I'll happily take the health in this case. Okay, second battle. We're in Gyrosphere now, baby. Oh, and oh, that's a good team. You got the Anglosaurus. You got the Paratops. Was it Ref? It might be. If it's Ref as well. Damn. Oh, an Imperator Suchus. Level 26. Oh, he's just got it. Interesting. Interesting. It's, it's, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool. It's like passive against passive. Who will win? I don't think he can get immune, though. Oh, man, this is going to be good. This, none of us can swap, or at least I can't swap. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even get it. Uh, vulnerability, not immune, what am I talking about? So there's his counter. Okay, okay. Now, he does have his Basque ability. Um, he might go for it here, knowing that I'm just going to go for the stun. If he does, like, how much damage does he get? He, oh, wait, he's probably going to stun me anyway if he does it, yeah. Uh, so may as well just let him get that off then. Yeah, he's gonna get us done. Does heal himself, which is interesting. Um, right, what do we go for here? Uh, damage over time. <laughs> yep, I think we just go for a big hit, man. <laughs> yeah, just go for it. Oh, wait, he's quicker. No, oh, wow. Imperator Suit is showing how good it is against Ankylosaur Lux. I like it. Um, so, 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 so. I'll go for Referantum. I think... After that heavy loss, right off the bat, probably gonna lose this one. Um, but now I know. I like I said, I very rarely face up against um, uh, Imperator Sutures at all. So seeing just how much damage you can do against that—that's quite interesting. Okay, so he's gonna get the bleed off. Oh, Referendum is very good against it, apparently. I'm learning all sorts here. <laughs> also, I apologize for the last video where people were screaming at the screen for me to switch in Rexy. I know, the perfect opportunity. I didn't notice it after the fact, but hey-ho. Um, so, what could we do here? Um, we could, uh, you know, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, he's going to go for his Basque. Interesting, just to get some health back, I suppose. I mean, how much is it? It is 2,500, so it's pretty decent, but we'll just nullify his attack. We'll nullify his attack and lower his attack. Does he have any... Oh, he's not even resisting against it. Wow. Oh, that's that's bad. Okay, well, if we get a crit, we're good. Does some damage this time. Wow, look at, look at this thing. It's slowly wearing down my referendum. It's doing... Oh, it's doing amazing. But he did actually slow me down as well. Ooh, do I get a crit? No, a little crit would have helped. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Well, this is really interesting. Look at him go. And now, yeah, yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to kill me there. I was so happy for him. Uh, but, oh, he should have just slowed me down. Uh, oh, no, he slow downs for the next turn too. Right, okay. So we lost, you know, just less than half. Um, now, I don't know. Are we vulnerable? Oh, we are vulnerable. It's worked out perfectly for him. So he can kill me in one hit now. Um, now if I swapped in Paratops, it's 2,600. Um, yeah, I'll swap in Paratops. I'll just follow it off. My play here is just to, you know, do this amount of damage to him. And then die next turn. And then go for Rexy. And go for priority. Uh, and then, oh, it really depends actually. Ooh. I mean, he's got to go for his biggest hit to kill me. And he'll definitely do it. And that leaves him with two options. Cunning Strike or Alert Nullification. So. I mean, we may as well. We're not, we're not going to survive. <laughs> yeah, he'll go for his biggest hit. Oh, yeah. After that Anklos looks at the start. Ay, ay, ay. No, not, did, not, did not look good for me this time. Um, so, I mean... I'll do 3,800. 50% chance of a coin flip that I will kill him. Uh, whereas this one, I got 20% chance of a crit. I may as well just go for Rexy. May as well go for it. Um, now, ooh, if he ex... This is interesting. It's cool down. Now, if he goes for his alert nullification, I'll just go for it. 
I knew he'd do it. I knew he'd do it. Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Actually, it's, it's not bad. We still killed him. But I was thinking if I big, I could big brain him here and go for my revenge. Oh, and I'm quicker now, though. At least, I suppose. He can't switch out or else he dies. Um, now, if I... Hold on. If I go for this, how many turns do I get attacked for? Cleanse vote, heal 0.6 direct damage, dealt over 4 turns. So, I'm kind of tempted just to do that anyway, but I'll not. I'll save it. Uh, do I have my attack for this next upcoming turn? Hopefully, no, I don't. Ooh, but I have a damage reduction, though. Oh, it's in the Taurus. It's in the Taurus. It's not looking good. Ooh, it's, yeah, it's really not looking good. Ooh. Right, I have to get through. I have to get through his cloak twice. I have to get through his cloak twice here. So first one, don't get through. Now nah, we've lost. <laughs> I mean, it was worth a shot, right? It was worth a shot. I, what I could have done is, I guess, switched to, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, he's got armor as well. No, he doesn't have armor. What, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, of course I do extra. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get the crit this time, 100%. Just you watch. So if I switch to referendum, there's the crit. And I didn't get through it again. What's with these dodges, man? They're so lucky. I mean, I guess there's more chance of me not getting through than there is the other way. But if, I, if I'd if i went for... I mean, how much damage would he have done? Four thousand... Yeah, it didn't matter. Even if I were switched into ref, there's nothing I could have done there. I would have went through his dodge and bled him, but then he would have, like, cleansed. That The loss of Anglosaw Soul looks at the start was what... Tip the, tip the balance there. But hey, we'll do one more. We'll also play Pokemon Go at the same time. Woo! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm very tempted though. All right, okay. Defeat three creatures. Come on, I'm back in the bloomin' manor. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna start with Imperator Suits. I'm gonna do it. Like getting that heal on the Basque off straight away is a good idea. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a ref. This isn't so good. <laughs> Yeah, okay, like, that's what I ended up killing him with, so... Hey-ho. I mean, I, I was tempted to start with my own ref, but we'll see what he wants to do here. Yeah, he's, I mean, it's it's the, the, the best play. But the thing is, I want to slow him down. I want to slow him down, and I also want to get some bleed damage off on him. Uh, we're not going to do anything on the counter, though. Mm. And nothing on that one, either. Ooh, okay. So, we're going to take a fair bit of bleed, I think. We'll have a look, though. Is it? Is it a lot of bleed? No, it's not. Okay, it's about the same as him. I, I always forget, like, what its resistance is. So, we'll go We'll go for the Bast now, because he's going to go for his giant hit. Oh, we stunned him! We actually stunned him! No way! Oh, that is brilliant! Now, that was unlucky. What are the chances of that? Oh, man. Okay. So, we could do that, or we could bleed him out and make him slower again. I'm going to bleed him out and make him slower again, um, because I don't think he's going to be able to do his, uh, this one, super distraction. Okay, he cleanses damage over time. That's fine. Uh, but he's still slow. That's it. Oh, he, could have, he gets a freaking crit. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you going to do now, son? What are you going to do? I mean, he could nullify me if he wanted to. Look at this. 26 crocodile. And it almost killed a 29, like, fully boosted um, ref. Oh, yes. But, however, he will have his distraction ready now. So, what I want to do is just kill him quick. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. What are we going to do? Um, I could switch in referentum and go for my priority and kill him. But that's kind of a waste. Um, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to do a weird play here. Um, because I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm gonna do a swap to Paratops. Thinking he might want to save it. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, he's vulnerable anyway. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I want to do this because then I can do the annoying setup, which is basically just heal and get out. Um, so... Yep, he'll do uh, probably... Oh, he doesn't do his group accelerate. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, I thought he would go for his nullifying, but he's expecting me to do this. Okay. All right. Let's play this game. Two quadruped thingies that are basically the same animation set. Go at it. Like, what is it? Oh, my God. His attack is 5,800. <laughs> 
Oh, if he got a crit, he would have killed me. <laughs> right, yeah, look at this. And now it's my turn. Because I've got a lot of attack. I removed his, his speeding reserve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's evenly matched here. This is a close game. Um, right, now what could he do here? He could go for... Oh, that's enough. So unfair, man. Just like, oh, yeah, by the way, all of the health. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna go for this, and then he's he's. Oh well, he could go for his um, speed increase if he wanted to, I suppose. Um, but I, uh, da, 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 da. in this in this case, I know Scorpius Rex is gonna die here. Um, actually, I might not. It depends what his speed turns into. Yes, he's probably going to go for his group accelerating, not go for his nullifying. I don't think he's going to go for that. He's going to save that. If I was him, I'd save that. Yes. So I'm still actually faster than him. Oh, if he'd went for his nullifying. Oh, that's annoying. If he'd just done that, he would have probably killed me there. So I'm, I'm just going to go for the Toxic Quills because even if he swaps out, I'm going to do a load of damage to something. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage to Ceramite. That's interesting, a Ceramite is... Oh, oh, now I'm getting lucky with the dodges here. Oh, you hate to see it. No chance of a crit, though. So, could be worse. Uh, how much bleed damage do we do? Because we could... Oh, we could... Wait, I think I'm... I... Oh, I can't even swap out. Uh, never mind. <laughs> um, he's probably going to go... Well, what could he do? Even if he goes for his precise... Oh, that would kill me if he goes... So I have to do this then. Yeah, I have to do this. Okay, we're keeping Scorpius Rex alive. These are some either big brain plays or I'm getting lucky. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I would have just went for precise. But okay. Because then I can... Oh, yeah. I can just swap the Paratops now. Uh, yeah, I'll swap the Paratops, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Let's swap out. <laughs> and then his Gorga Trebex will come in. Uh, probably go for a speed increase. Um, but at that point, if that's what happens, Referendum's going to come in and do priority. Kill him. That's that's the play. We're, we're one move ahead of him. It's like chess. This is why this game's not as popular as Pokemon Go. Because it, it, it's it's not as... It's it's punishing if you're if you're just starting. That's the problem. And the, the fun from Dark and the Dinosaurs, like, that's not part of the game. <laughs> I, I feel like that's just kind of like, if, you, if you're going out collecting dinosaurs, all more power to you. But majority of the time, this this is for someone who, you know, comes in after work and just, like, sits down, collects in your bears, does battles, and then goes to bed. That's pretty much it, or at least I feel. Whereas Pokemon goes like, oh, let's go out for a walk. And you can do some battles. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he swaps into here. Oh, it's Monla Rhino. <gasps> oh, interesting. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's lost. Maybe not. <laughs> you know what? Fair play. Fair play. I'll go for this one. Go for this one. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, there's the crit, I suppose. Here comes his shield. Um. The th what I need to do, I need to be careful here. Um. Actually, do I need to be careful? I don't even think I need to be careful. I don't need to be careful. <laughs> I was thinking, what if Gorgotrebex comes in and I, he's quicker than me, but even if he does, like, well, what's going to happen? He, he, he gets hit and dies. <laughs> yeah, I think I pretty much won this one, I think. And then the biggest hit. I'll give him, like, well played. I, I either got lucky or... I don't know. <laughs> I think that's definitely... Even with a shield. Yeah, well, that's a 50. Well, that was a good game. That was so, like... Oh, that was good. That was good. I mean, I had like maybe the more powerful dinosaurs because the loads of them were Apex, but still, that was good. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, well, I'll be back when Rex gets an incubator or you know the update comes out or something. We're always back for something. So till then, stay safe, cuties. Bye bye.